guys, it's Ellen and happy Halloween! I really, really, really fucking hope that I actually managed to get this video out before Halloween or I'm gonna be literally so fucking angry with myself. The annoying thing is that every time I actually set myself some type of deadline, I end up freaking out and getting myself so stressed about meeting the deadline that I just end up being unable to meet the deadline and my brain just fucks off and then leaves me with some confused cabbage. Can anyone relate? No, no. Just you again, Ellen. But anyway, on my Instagram, I have said to you guys that I am going to be doing a Halloween question and answer. I have read through all of the questions that you guys have sent me on my Instagram post, and I have done my absolute best, which usually isn't very good, but I have done my absolute best to separate everything that you guys have asked me into different sections so I can try and answer all of your questions in a roundabout way. But don't worry, I will still credit you guys for your questions at the beginning of each section because why not? First question I was asked is paranormal experiences. Whew. Now I actually have some really fucking scary paranormal experiences. But I'm going to go off the ones that other people have experienced as well as me. I actually had a really terrifying experience once when I went on holiday to Wales when I was younger. The place we went to was a bit weird to say the least and it kind of affected us all in a very odd way and there were lots of odd things happening. But since that is such a long complicated story that would probably take me years to tell since I ramble so fucking much, Ellen, stop. So I will have to do that in another video if you guys would like to hear about that. Then just drop down below and let me know. Two, what do you love most about Halloween and what is your favourite candy to get on Halloween? Probably me as I am low-key a lollipop. Or an Ellen Pop. Ellen Pop probably works better. But honestly, any candy is fine by me. Sweet flavoured donations are always welcomed in the world of Ellen. I always used to like hard boiled sweets when I was younger, but I was always scared that I was going to choke on them, so I just kind of used to stare at them longingly. And my favourite thing in general about Halloween is that for once I'm permitted to be as scary and freaky as I want to be and people won't think that I'm just a fucking weirdo. Halloween is the one time of year where it's socially acceptable to be a complete nut job. Hey Ellen, why are you screaming? I wasn't really screaming. It was just my um, Halloween costume. Three, the first thing you dressed up as for Halloween. I was about five and I had just moved to a new school that I fucking hated and I got invited to a Halloween party. I got invited to a few of those actually. I never really had much fun because everyone was in scary costumes and when I was younger I was literally scared of my own fucking shadow. I probably still would be now if I wasn't on medication. But back to the question, for that I dressed up as a witch because I'm a creative bitch. Ellen just stop with these awful puns, like they just need to go. Number four, have you ever been in a haunted house? Well, I've stayed in a haunted house, but I haven't actually been in one at a fairground. More likely because I'd probably shit my pants, have a panic attack and end up killing everybody surrounding me. So it really would be a fucking haunted house. Five, best memory of Halloween. Probably one of the times where I was just, you know, sat in bed on my own, contemplating my life choices and eating sweeties because I'm an introvert like that. I'm not sure why I've been waving this magic wand for the whole video but I've reached this point in life where I just don't question myself anymore. I just go with the flow. Six, have you ever organised a cosy Halloween party at home? Yes I have. I wouldn't say it was particularly cosy though. I'm pretty sure I had like three of them when I was younger and none of them went particularly well. They usually ended in everybody disagreeing and wanting to kill each other. Because getting a load of kids in a room full of movies, nobody's gonna fucking agree on what to watch. Because that's just kids. Kids are stubborn and adults do. But yes. Seven, what is your favourite palette to use for Halloween looks? Now I don't actually have like a Halloween-y kind of coloured palette which is actually really depressing because most of the um, palettes that I use are more kind of like purples and nudish colours. Like I've been looking for one with like really bright vibrant colours for ages but it's just really difficult to find them. Favourite Halloween movie and do you like horror movies? Yes I do like horror movies. 
I don't know if you mean like traditional Halloween movies or just generalised horror movies, but I'm gonna go with Insidious because why not? What are you being this year for Halloween? Well, I'm not really actually doing anything for Halloween this year, but I'll probably end up dressing up anyway, so I'll be a space invader. But knowing me, I'll probably end up dressing up as it after Halloween, because I will probably end up sleeping through Halloween and forgetting that it exists. Because I'm a special snowflake like that. Do you go trick or treating or have you ever been trick or treating? I'm pretty sure that I went a few times when I was younger. That was when I actually managed to have friends on Halloween, which admittedly was a rarity. But none of them were particularly good and hardly anyone around here actually gives you candy. You see, you just knock and people just I mean, I can kind of understand it because an unopened door is usually a happy door. But either way, fucking Halloween ruiners. 12. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do. I believe that this whole world is populated with ghosts as well as people. Like right now, I probably share my house with ghosts. And in that case, I'm happy because that means that I have plenty of company. Favourite Halloween song? I think anyone could probably guess this because this is pretty much everyone's favourite Halloween song. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see standing strange? This is Halloween, 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 Halloween. No, end and stop. What are the scariest things you've done on Halloween and what is your scariest Halloween experience? Honestly, the scariest thing I've ever done on Halloween is probably going trick-or-treating in the rain or watching a scary movie. Because honestly, I'm really not that exciting. Have you ever summoned spirits or used an Ouija board? I think that's how you pronounce an Ouija board. I have been around while people have tried to use an Ouija board. But personally, I would rather just leave them alone, you know? Like, they don't bother me personally, so why should I bother them? The chances are they are probably equally as freaked out by the existence of us as we are of that. I mean, I wouldn't personally like it if a load of ghosts just kind of showed up and abducted me and then took me into their world to ask me weird questions. I'd be pretty fucking unimpressed. And I'd probably end up haunting them out of spite. Do you carve a pumpkin? No. But my dad usually does when he can be asked. That reminds me, I really hope my dad does carve a pumpkin this year. And I will have to get on to him about that. Do you prefer vampires or werewolves? Well, I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. Sometimes I sleep all day because I hate the sun. Uh, uh, my hands are always shaking, body always aching, and the dark is when I feel. But no, seriously, vampires, because I'm an undercover vampire. What were you last Halloween? Last Halloween, if I remember rightly, I was a ghost follower. Now, if you were still watching my YouTube at this time last year, you'll probably remember me making lots of cringy jokes about ghost followers and being a ghost follower for Halloween. Well, I'm just carrying on that because... But no, seriously, I was probably depressed because I did absolutely jack shit for Halloween last year. What movie scared you when you were a child? Now this one's a funny one because literally everything would scare me when I was a child. Like I could barely watch the news channel without being completely freaked out for like a week afterwards. I was a very anxious child and I'm a very anxious adult. In fact, I'm an adult. How am I an adult? This isn't right. There must be a mistake. I'm 19. I, 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 I'm Ellen, not now. I swear to God, I have my questions here sitting on my phone and it keeps scrolling back up to the top. I paid for you, you're meant to do as I tell you. Here we go, I've got to the right place again. Have you ever had a bad Halloween experience? Um, going to children's Halloween parties were pretty bad experiences. I mean, nothing ridiculously terrifying or bad happened except for the fact that there were lots of people. Not Halloween related, but do you like sloths? Indeed, I do like sloths. I am an in real life sloth. A sloth is what I aspire to be. In fact, I'm a lot of things since I'm still an Ellen Pop from earlier. I'm a sloth which is an Ellen Pop. Ghosts or spiders? Ghosts any day. Now, I am literally fucking terrified of spiders. I'm just terrified of them. I don't know why I'm terrified of them. I don't know where this irrational fear came from. But whenever I see a spider, I automatically fucking free. And I wish it wasn't the case because I always end up feeling bad like I've hurt the spider's feeling because spiders do have feelings. 
and they have families, which is why you shouldn't kill spiders and just put them outside. If you want a good spider catching method, then what you can do is you can get an empty cup and cardboard and put the spider under the cup and then do that and put him outside. You're welcome, pumpkins or Halloween cookies. What about Halloween cookies with pumpkins on them? How spooky are you on a scale of one to 10? More like how spooky are you on a scale of one to Ellen? And of course, me being Ellen, I'm right at the top. Most embarrassing Halloween costume you have worn? Probably myself. Do you have any Halloween traditions, like decorating or doing something in particular? Honestly, not really. We just kind of do whatever the fuck we feel like. Hopefully, we'll have a couple of pumpkins and we might put the old cringy decoration up. But other than that, we don't really have anything specific we like to do on Halloween. Now, this particular question I have saved until last because it's slightly different and slightly more complicated. But the question is, look up Halloween costumes and for the first 20, pick your favourite. So, I am going to look up Halloween costumes. Okay, so the first one I am um, not a little girl or a little boy, so the whole princess and red dude costume probably wouldn't quite work for me. Second one, that's just Harley Quinn again. Everyone seems to be obsessed with Harley Quinn now. The third one, that's someone holding up an Instagram sign, somebody not looking scary in the slightest, somebody with a monobrow. Well, ah, the last one has pretty cool hair, I'll give it that. It's not too bad. I mean, you could get away with saying it was a Halloween costume. Honestly, my favourite so far is probably one of these Harley Quinn ones. Actually, no, I've changed my mind. This one is my favourite. But yeah, I am going to be leaving now. Well, actually, no, the camera's going to be leaving, but I'm going to be staying. Um, I will see you next week or the week after, one or the other. I try to upload at least once every two weeks now. And I'm literally fucking covered in glitter after waving this thing around for ages. I literally look like a fucking unicorn's cummed all over me. But yes, happy Halloween and I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And I love you guys so much. Goodbye. This actually smells really fucking nice. But yeah, goodbye.